Welcome to the Bite Size Storytelling Show, brought to you by Comiful.com, where we bring you techniques, advice, and stories that will help you on your writing journey. Without further ado, please give a warm welcome to our special guest. What's up, Comiful? My name is Michael Laron. I am the author of over 50 science fiction and fantasy books, as well as self-help books for writers. And I also run the popular YouTube channel, Author Level Up, which is for writers. And the topic of the video that I wanted to talk about today is writer's block, because every writer deals with writer's block at some point in their career. Amen? <laughs> and I imagine that many of you watching this are new and aspiring writers, and maybe you're dealing with writer's block right now, and it's probably really agonizing and probably really frustrating. And so I wanted to give you some perspective, because I've been through this a number of times, about 50 times <laughs> to be exact, and there's some things that I found uh, that definitely help with combating writer's block. So I want to give you in this video three tips, plus something that I desperately want you to hear about beating writer's block, because it's actually easier than you think. But before I get to those three tips, there is something I want you to know, and that is when you have never written a book before or when you've only written a few books before, what you're going through feels really excruciating. And many times it's going to feel like you can't do it or that maybe there's something wrong with you or maybe that you don't have the right skill set in order to actually write a novel. It's, you're going to go through all of these feelings and all of these emotions and they're all perfectly normal. I'm here to tell you that they're perfectly normal. There's not a single writer that doesn't go through it, and there's not a single writer that doesn't still go through it, even after they've written tons of books. And so I think that the major secret, before I get into any tips about beating writer's block, is mindset. It's learning to be comfortable with the uncomfortable, because a lot of writing is about the unknown. You don't know what's going to happen in your story. You don't know what your character is going to do. You don't know what the next book is going to be about, right? And it's learning how to get comfortable with that. And the more books you write, the more comfortable you will become. So now, tip number one, and I want to talk about the root causes of writer's block, okay? So writer's block, no matter what it is, no matter what you're dealing with, only has three root causes and those are each of the three tips that I'm going to give you today okay so the first root cause of writer's block is fear right so you fear that you can't do it you're afraid of what other people are going to say and whether you realize this consciously or whether you realize it unconsciously fear is a source of writer's block because let's face it you know, there's, there's this weird contradiction in society, right? Like, people love books, people love movies, people love television, but they don't always appreciate the person or the people that created those things, right? Case in point, how many people watch The Walking Dead every week? Just think about how many millions of people watch The Walking Dead every week, and how many people read the graphic novel or have read the graphic novel series. How many of those same people will then balk at you when you say that you're a writer, right? Writing is looked down upon in many circles and in many respects. There's, there's not the respect for writers that there is for, say, a lawyer or, say, doctors. It just doesn't exist. And so you have to understand that in some ways, whether you like it or not, right, wrong, or indifferent, society has some, some, some things against writers. And so we hear these things in our lives and we hear these things perhaps from family members or cousins or, or uncles, um, <laughs> you know, or, or, or people close to us or even friends, right? That, oh, well, writers, they don't make any money. There's, there's no way that they, that can be a sustainable career. And they, they kind of poo-poo all over uh, all of our dreams and aspirations, the things that we hold uh, very dear, right? Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> so this happens, you know, and it is what it is. There's, there's nothing we can do about it, but that is one of the root causes of our fear because we fear that we're inadequate. We fear that we're going to be judged. We fear that no one's going to buy our books. We fear that the people that do buy our books aren't going to like it. And so 
like I said before, learning how to be comfortable with the uncomfortable, learning how to conquer your fear is not uh, something that is, is very easily learned, but it's absolutely essential. If you can get a grip on your fear and tell yourself that you can do it and you charge forward no matter what you, that, that critic in your head is saying, no matter what the people around you are saying, that is one of the keys to success. And the people that do that are often the ones that are most successful because no one can stop them. They're like freight trains. Okay, So that's tip number one. Fear is one of the sources of writer's block. The second source of writer's block is personal circumstances. Right? So we all have lives, we all have families, we all have loved ones, we all have houses and apartments to tend to and pets and things that occupy our lives and our, our attention outside of our books, right? And sometimes those things need our attention more than our books. So let me give you an example. A couple months ago, I bought a new house. And I was really excited to buy the house because it was more space. And as you can see here, I've got a studio. I've got all my video equipment for my YouTube channel. I didn't have that at my last house. And I was just super excited. But as we were starting to get ready to buy the house, there was tons of things that I had to do. And there was lots of unconscious stress that was bearing down on me. And I, I just... I could not get anything written for that time that I was in the process of buying this house. And that was perfectly okay. Sometimes life calls us away from our books. That might be to take care of a loved one, to take care of a spouse, to buy a house, <laughs> to take care of an illness, to take care of an injury that you might have dealt with. You name it. The key, and, and this, is, this is what will eliminate the writer's block, the key is to deal with the circumstances that you need to deal with take care of those first, and then when you come back to your manuscript, you will find that the writer's block magically goes away. True story. <laughs> so if you've got outside circumstances, take care of those first. The writing will always be there for you. All right, so the third tip, the third thing I wanna talk about, the third source of writer's block is the one that is within your control. I mean, all these are within your control, but this one is, is the, perhaps the most within your control. So the third source of writer's block, in my opinion, is lack of energy and lack of motivation, right? So maybe you don't know what to write next in your chapter. Maybe you don't know what to write next, period. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 these are all sorts of things, right? Now, lack of energy, just eat right, get lots of sleep, get some exercise. It, you, you, know, you, know, you know how that one works, right? But lack of motivation, I think, is important, right? Because as writers, we have, to, we have to be the conveyors or the purveyors of ideas. But the only way we can do that is if we have a steady stream of ideas coming into us. That means setting aside time to read lots of books, right? Setting aside time to play video games if that's what you like to do, uh, so that that inspires you. Setting aside time to listen to music, pursue other passions. But one of the things that I found really helpful with all of this is to keep an idea book. So while I'm in public or I'm out and about, and I see some interesting person, or I, I encounter some interesting scenario, or I, I meet someone with a, a pretty cool accent that might sound cool in a book one day. I, I actually keep the Evernote app on my phone, and I capture all of those ideas. And I capture maybe one or two ideas every single day. And you do the math on that, that's like 365, 700 ideas, right? So that way, the next time you have writer's block, I have like at least 700 ideas in a notebook that I can go to and I dare myself to not find something that's going to inspire me, right? And so that is, uh, that is one of the great ways to beat writer's block is to always have some great things um, in a notebook and inspiration to help you and see you through the hard times, okay? So those are the three causes, root causes of writer's block, fear, personal circumstances, and lack of energy and lack of motivation. Now, here's what I want you to know. What I desperately want you to know is that the pain you're feeling right now with writer's block, when you're done with the book several years from now, you're gonna look back on the sections that you struggled with and you're not even gonna see how you had writer's block. You might even be really happy with how it turned out. So what I want you to know is that it's all perfectly normal and 
the perspective that I'm giving you is the perspective that you're going to have when you get on the other side of the tunnel. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would like to learn more about me, I encourage you to check me out at authorlevelup.com. That's my website where you can find all of my videos on my YouTube channel, all of my books for writers, and I even have a podcast for writers if you're interested in that as well. So with that, I wish you all of the best with your manuscript. Happy writing and take care. If you found this interesting, be sure to like, subscribe, and give a special thanks to our volunteer instructor. Reviews and likes really go a long way and help us provide more awesome writing resources to the Comiful community. If you aren't on Comiful yet, you can join a community of poets, short story authors, and fan fiction writers on Comiful.com.